Roberta, you're needed on set. Hello, hello, welcome to my crib. You may recall, Devin went through her pole dancing bag, found some treats. Kristen revealed what was on her desk, and Jen went through her trunk. And now, I'm gonna show you what's in my trunk, but it's a different kind of trunk. Not a car trunk, but my shoe trunk. What's a shoe trunk, you ask? It's basically a trunk where I keep a decent amount of my shoes and also just anything that I'm trying to clean up and I just kind of throw it in there. It'll be a surprise for all of us. I do wear some of the shoes inside, but the ones I wear are just at the very top. So I don't really know what lies beneath. The last time I actually went all the way through my shoe trunk may have been like a year ago. Maybe I don't need to shop. Maybe I just need to go through my shoe trunk. I don't know which shoes are where, but I'm excited to find something new. Let's go shopping. Here we are, here's my trunk. This trunk actually has been with me since right before I moved to LA. I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna get all of my shoes on a plane across the country to LA. So I found this trunk on Craigslist, hopped on the plane and moved to LA. It's kind of janky, but like it has a vintage feel. Should we jump in? She always chews on my fake plant. Yes, it's fine, it's a fake plant, but like, it's not her toy, it's for aesthetics. Usually I would spray her with a water bottle right now, but I'm gonna be kind. All right, this is generally a shoe trunk, but when I'm cleaning my room, sometimes I just throw things in here to make it appear clean. First, this is a bag of jewelry, and I wore this bracelet once and it broke, but I wasn't ready to just throw it away. I was gonna try to go back to the store and try to get a new one, but I just haven't. That was maybe two months ago. So I'm keeping broken pieces of a bracelet. Next! So I've been very into just like really bulky costume jewelry. I actually bought a lot of pairs of these and I haven't worn these ones yet. I actually thought that I lost them. These are gonna look really good. I feel like you guys will probably be like, ew, what are these earrings? But like with the right outfit, I think that they're gonna be really good. Also, this ring is really fire. So these are some platform boots that I really, really love. I found these on Dolls Kill. They're a little bit higher of a platform than what I was looking for, so I usually wear these kind of when I'm going out at night, but not really on the day to day. These, however, are going to the office shoes. They literally look exactly like the other ones, which is a smaller platform. I have a lot of shoes that are slight variations of other pairs of shoes that I have. And they kind of remind me of just 90s, like Clarissa explains it all boots. These. I've worn twice, and I've had them since May of 2017. I don't know why I don't wear them. I think I feel like they're a little too frilly for me. When I bought them, I bought them to wear with a specific dress that's chartreuse. These bad boys also don't really wear these. Can you guess why? <laughs> these are actually a knockoff of a Gucci shoe that pretty much looks exactly like this shoe, except they have it has the Gucci symbol on the outside. A player can't afford Gucci, so I bought Jeffrey Campbell versions of them because I love the rainbow. They give me Spice Girl vibes and I just had to get them. I wore them once to VidCon and then I wore them once on a date and my ankles were all over the place on the date. Haven't worn them since. That was in May. So these, they're Air Jordans. Used to be a really big sneaker head when I was growing up. I would wake my mom up early in the morning. I would make her drive me to shoe stores and stand in line. Terry was not a fan. A lot of the Jordans I had that I don't wear, I keep because I'm like, oh, Terry waited in line with me for four hours for those shoes. So I have three of the exact same style of jelly shoes. Why do I have three, you ask? These are my newer jelly shoes. This is one half of an older pair of jelly shoes. So the other half of this jelly pair is at a shoe repair shop and I dropped the shoe off six months ago. The idea of buying a new pair didn't occur to me. I was like, oh, this can be fixed. I just ended up buying a new pair anyway. I could just throw this one away. Haven't. One time I was complaining to Kelsey Dara that like older men never approach me. It's always like guys my age or younger guys. And I think it's because I like look really young. And she was like, no, it's because they look down and they see you're wearing fucking jelly shoes, which makes you look eight. <laughs> so this is a wig net. This is what comes around your wigs when you purchase them from stores. But I don't have a wig. Remember when I said that I have lots of slight variations of shoes that I already have? These are my go-to vans. I love wearing them. They're really comfy and I feel like they kind of add kind of an LA skater vibe, which is really fun for me. I do have another pair, but it's slightly platformed. <laughs> Yeah, wow, that's so different. A friend of mine got these and they were too small and she sent them to me because she was like, I have platform vans and, and your size, do you want them? I was like, yes. But I'm not getting rid of them because like, they're cute. <laughs> 
These are my Tims. I have to sneeze again. Is it because I'm just like trudging up a bunch of dust and dirt from my shoe trunk that I don't open? I've often considered getting rid of them and then I went to like Joshua Tree and was like, oh, I could wear Tims there. It gets cold at night and I don't care if they get dirty. Roberta, quiet, quiet. Y'all remember Tevas from back in the day? Honestly though, these are so comfy. I haven't worn them in a while because I forgot about them because they're in this trunk. I tried to jump on the mules train. These are from Zara. They were trendy and I was like, oh, maybe I could get on board with a mule. And I just couldn't do it. I should donate these. I'm donating these. It'll spark joy in someone else. These are my Birkenstocks. These really came in handy for me when I went to a 90s party. I actually asked for these for my birthday last year and Terry got them for me and I haven't really worn them. I will utilize these. Summer 2018, coming at you with the Birks. These are my Adidas. Okay, so there are some white sneakers that can get away with being dirty and white, like a white Converse, for example, a white van. That's not necessarily my theory with this specific Adida. So instead of washing them, just threw them to the bottom of the trunk. I'm a trash person, huh? <laughs> These I love. They're my PF Flyers that were popularized from the movie Sandlot and Benny Rodriguez wore the black version of these. Don't really wear these as much as I should or want to, but never getting rid of them. I have these really cute, very vintage looking shoes. Honestly, the last time I wore these was probably three and a half years ago. That's why they're at the bottom of the trunk. It's like I have to find the right outfit and once I do, these are gonna be so fire. Like flames, straight up flames. Smoke inhalation. Here's more Vans. These are really old and really gross. If you look at this black line, I stepped in wet cement, didn't clean them, still have them. Don't wear them, why do I need them? These are also PF flyers. So these are even closer to the ones Benny Rodriguez had, but his were high top. The reason I haven't worn these is because they kind of got replaced by my black Rihanna Pumas. Benny Rodriguez, I'm sorry, baby boy. You are my childhood crush, but you cannot compete with Rihanna. Y'all know damn well that I don't wear these. I don't need them. I think I got them because I just needed a flat. Birdie, do you like them? <laughs> Drappy heels, got them from Zara. I feel like they're a classic shoe. I do wear these. Leave me alone! <laughs> I like to hike in these because they're really comfortable. Them being at the bottom of the trunk shows how much I hike. <laughs> these heels I actually do wear. I really like them. They're a simple, light, millennial pink pump that I can throw in with anything. So the last thing is actually from my old roommate in New York. Priscilla, I love you very much. Just because this is at the bottom of my trunk doesn't mean that you're at the bottom of my heart. It's a congratulations card and it's from when I was moving away from her and leaving the apartment and moving to LA. Love you, Pris. That's all of what's in my trunk. I mean, this was good because I actually went through the trunk. I am able to pick out two or three pair of shoes that I can give away without feeling sad. I need to use the KonMari method in my shoe life. I would say 40% of these shoes spark joy for me. The other 60% are just there taking up space and maybe they'll spark joy for someone else. I think because all of these shoes are kind of out of sight, I don't recognize them as sort of being an issue and taking up space in my life. Roberta, it's not as easy for me to let go of shoes that I know I don't wear. I don't know why it's shoes. I can do it with clothes. I can do it with paperwork, cards. And I honestly think that this is something that I need to work on as a new growing Freddy. Am I the only one? Let me know if you kind of relate to my struggle. Are you a shoe hoarder? Like, I'm a shoe hoarder. I'm excited to, um, throw everything back into the trunk and wheel it back into my bedroom and pretend this never happened. We got, got merch. merch! Click here to buy it. Spoons! 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 Spoons!